Hello, welcome to another edition of Gatekeeping the Internet, aka Why Would You Post This? If you have not seen the last video, basically this is a series where we look at various posts online and question what would possess you to put this on the internet. You know that's forever, right? We got about 27 videos to look at. I don't know if we'll get to them all, but uh, strap in. It's going to be a good time. And by the way, I'm going back on tour early next year. So if you haven't got a ticket, noelmillerlive.com. I think actually I got some shows sold out. The Vancouver shows are sold out. I got Houston after that, Omaha, and then San Francisco, and some other great cities. So buy a ticket, come see me. Uh, it's going to be great. All right, now let's get into this video. What are some of the oddest things you've ate as a child? To keep it even, I'm going to answer before we read the answer that is the focus of this moment. Um, the oddest thing I've ever ate is nothing. Uh, clearly, I didn't eat enough because uh, when you max out at 5'8", <laughs> you definitely missed out on vegetables and various other things. It probably would have did me some good to eat a slug or a radioactive worm. That might have helped me grow. You lot, here we go, English. <clears throat> you lot are gonna judge, but I was small at my mama's place and they had a berry plant and grape plants, etc. But also goats and I found the quote fruits on the ground so I ate one immediately, spit it out because apparently goat shit looks like small berries. I'm actually gonna say this isn't that crazy of a thing to post, it's pretty funny. It's innocent. Child's curiosity. It would be easy to confuse berries for shit. If there was a video of this kid eating a, a dingleberry from a goat and then a video of a kid on a razor scooter attempting like a 15 stair and cratering on that 15 stair, I actually think people would say the kid on the razor scooter ate shit harder than actually eating the goat shit. So... Uh, shout out to you. Also, goat dingleberries is a delicacy. They call that Bohemian Grove butter. Uh, you should look it up. It's, it's good. Moving on. This one's titled New Partner. It is! I f***ed the homeless man and he stole my phone! I woke up with all the f***ing blood in my sheets. Like, thought I f***ing murdered. Mm, enough. Enough. This is captioned a regular Wednesday morning in Morgantown. Now I'm not trying to invalidate your experience or correct it in any way, but I do think it's a little bit rude to call him homeless. That's just how dudes in West Virginia look. And with that out of the way, um, why the f would you post this? I hope you didn't think you were going to get empathy, even sympathy from us here on the internet. You had sex with a homeless man and lost your phone. Uh, that just sounds like he's got game. <laughs> He's got game because he's got games on your phone. Yeah, yeah, you got it. All right. Moving on. When your son gets busted sneaking a girl over, oh boy, this is going to be uncomfortable. So what I want to know is, you ready? Hey, what's up? What is that pillow up there for? I don't know. Look at me. What is that pillow up there for? I'm busy. What is that pillow up there for? I don't know. That pillow right there. What is it for? You got some explaining to do. I don't know what it's for. What is it up there for? So when the boys, you know, playing 2K, they bump into the bed. You wanna know what it's really for? Hey. It's holding it up, actually. Hey. Yeah, this is definitely a soft, soft. You know, we could make the frame smaller and, you know, a little reverb on this. Why would you post this? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's, it's funny. It's definitely funny. It's funny how it hit him. He saw his eyes light up when she pointed at the pillow and he went, oh. It's kind of funny if you send your kid through high school with like an Adams Family bed frame. Something that creaks, it's uneven. Something straight out of 1940. Just the noisiest possible thing. Just to make the situation that much more difficult. <clears throat> Let's hope I never have a kid. You know, I think now would be a good time to thank the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. You all know how I feel about browsing the internet raw. You should always use some kind of protection and NordVPN is a great option for that. It's easy to use. You can connect with one click. They have over 5,100 servers in 60 different countries. So you can always find a server near you for better speed or a far away location for more content. It works on six devices and every major operating system. That means Windows, Android, iOS, Mac OS, and if you're a nerd, Linux as well. They even offer a double VPN, which means you can route your 
traffic through two VPN servers to double the encryption. Uh, if you're not getting me, what I'm saying is they let you double bag it. It works anywhere. So if you're going to be traveling again, it's a good way to protect yourself while browsing the internet in public or something like that. Also, you can prevent your ISP from throttling your bandwidth, which means uh, they can't slow you down because they don't know where you're connected from. Right now, Nord is offering a deal where if you get a two-year plan, you'll get an additional month with a huge discount. Just go to nordvpn.com slash Miller. Again, that's nordvpn.com slash Miller. You can click the link in the description to find out more. Now let's continue on with the video. I've been trying to use Tinder for the past week just to mess around, and so far I've received zero likes. So I thought, damn, I must be shadow banned. Oh boy. I contact support and ask them to be unbanned, and this is what I got. I'm so sad. <laughs> Hello, Bruno. Thanks for reaching out. We're sorry to hear about the trouble you're experiencing. We've looked at your account, and everything seems to be working properly. If the issue persists, please let us know, and we'll investigate how to get you a new face. They didn't say that. Also, sometimes it's only a matter of time. There are some things you can do to help others notice your profile. Try uploading your photos or turn on smart photos to make sure that you're always leading with the photo most likely to be swiped right. Adding information to your bio could go a long way and will let potential matches learn more about you. I'd also suggest connecting your Instagram and Spotify accounts to your Tinder profile. <laughs> I don't know anything about Tinder, so this could be a, you know, ill-informed statement, but is connecting your Spotify really doing you any favors? Are you really getting swipes based on your Spotify if you're older than 14? That just seems like a strange one to tout. Anyway, poor guy. Maybe it's not all that bad. Maybe this is just a homeless guy trying to figure out how to use Tinder. You know, he doesn't know that he can take pictures of himself yet. This one's captioned, am I the one that's insane? It's really her. I have a feeling this is a bit, but... Remembering the time I sent her a crying video so she could feel bad and take me back. That's not funny. Stop laughing. Oh, it's funny when a man cries? Okay. Oh, it's funny when a guy shows his emotions? All right. But if this was a woman crying, would we be laughing? Yes. But she posted it on Twitter instead. <laughs> you gotta you gotta get ahead of it right you gotta call it out if it's doing the rounds you just oh fuck it i guess i might just get out in front yeah that's me that's me that's me the guy crying i'm just here to let you all know that i'm sensitive okay moving on last night my fiance i stay with went out with her girls around 11 p.m her boyfriend wait uh, what? Last night, my fiance, who I stay with, went out with the girls. Around 11 p.m., her boyfriend called me with her cell phone, telling me to stay away from his girlfriend. I called sick at work today, and she's still not home. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, interesting place to go for help, but, you know, if there's ever a, a place you could rely on for really sound, thoughtful input, it's definitely Twitter. I kind of look at it as why wouldn't you post this? It's not funny. It's not funny. <laughs> All right, moving on. Men are either good at bowling or know how to eat pussy. These are mutually exclusive. Just so happens that I'm really good at bowling. Scrape. My wife and I, of 45 years, actually tried to go bowling last week. Ended up getting so much grease on our hands from the track that we had to go back to the locker room for a little... Grease on our hands. What are you talking about? Are you talking about, like, chicken finger grease from putting your... He never eats pussy, yeah. <laughs> Do you think he uses the same technique as a bowling ball? Just gets those three fingers in the wolf pack formation and just... That's foul. Stop laughing at that. That's not funny. 
It's not funny to just picture an old man and an old woman in a bowling alley locker room just, you know, spread eagle and... Strike. Nice one. It's not funny. Slip and slide shit boy. Think you can hurt me? Last time I pooped at school, someone started peeing under the stall. When I got up to fight them, I slipped... <laughs> Slipped in the pee and fell so hard that I accidentally. <laughs> hey man, come here. It's, it's close. Why would you fucking post this? Why would you post this? It's funny. It's definitely funny. I appreciate it. I'm glad you did. I'm very happy that you did. Spent 10 months in a relationship just for a dude to call her cute, put his arm around her at a party. She, quote, doesn't know how to take the guy's arm off of her and tell him to stop hitting on her. She then tells me they're going to hang out later more. <laughs> uh, I don't think she knew that you guys were in a relationship, man. That would be my guess. I don't, I don't know. Maybe the guy's just homeless, you know? I thought deleting it would erase it. Couldn't make eye contact with him for a week. Uh, that one time I accidentally sent my brother a snap of my chest and I deleted my whole Snapchat in a was unnecessary to make that video it was just for fun i was show i was just having fun that's it like it was just for fun <laughs> well, i mean have you seen his mom's you know he's technically seen your i digress i digress i digress <laughs> you know I, I get why you would post that it's funny girls fall in love someone who's similar to their dad Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's weird. You know, uh, <laughs> you know, I made the joke on Twitch that uh, white girls after sex be like, <laughs> "You remind me of my dad." Strike. No, no, no drink has, for loco maybe, but no, 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 no drink has ever tasted like that. Fucking why? Why? This is hilarious. Thank you for your service. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, dude. Oh, imagine getting that call as a father. It seems bad, but you know she'd probably call him and he'd look at his phone and be like, I don't recognize this number, and hang up. You know. Because they don't have a relationship. She's not in his phone. Right. You got it. All right. Moving on. Here he comes. Oh, my goodness. And he's huge. Here we go. That's what they say every time I get on stage. Oh, my goodness. He's huge. Oh. Damn, son. Strike. I wonder if we can pet him. <laughs> Hi, boy. Can we touch him? No, don't. <laughs> Help me. Help. Help. Check this out, Warthog. <laughs> Is there a genetic predisposition that makes people think they're Snow White? Like, the fuck are you doing getting on one knee trying to talk to Pumbaa? You have no business there. You don't speak his language. The confidence is unparalleled. But I'm not going to question why you'd post this. Because you were dumb enough to kneel down and try to get <laughs> close to the Warthog in the first place, so... We get it. You're bold. I really want to try a golden sh We're done. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye. Hey, shit's play, man. I had to switch it up. Switch up, switch up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I might lose a few. Ask me if I give a fuck. Yeah, no.